Hi everybody, this is Avalon, this is Ag Time, which is all the time. We are continuing our journey on agriculture education with student projects. I'm here with a student of mine, Jorge Cruz. How you doing, Jorge? Very good, and you? Jorge's been with us for the last four years. He's led students in the backcountry with a chainsaw. He raises livestock all the way from lambs to steers. He's in the horticulture industry, raising nursery stock and raising trees. Growing up in the avocado orchards of Carpinteria. But his specialty is ag mechanics. He has a great engineering project that he worked on, which is a 1954 Ford tractor that is a backhoe. Lots of work, lots of pieces, lots of components, lots of learning. Jorge, please show us what you did with your project. Okay, so this is my 1954 um, backhoe, and it took me two years to put it together. So I did the rams, the hoses, put the hydraulic pump, the shaft, and then some engine work, the starter, and then the seats. New seats, look at that, new seats. I also did the rams over here, a lot of hoses, all the control right here, and then um, the boom, which it took four people to, um, to help me move it with the engine hoist, and today I just finished putting the cotter pins for the back bucket. How long did you work on this? Two years. Two years? Two years. Lots of work. Yeah. It was in and it was in pieces when you got it, right? Pieces, everything. We had to look for um for all the pieces, the hoses. We had to buy, so it was like a lot of money for hoses. How much money do you think it cost to put this together? A lot. Just the hoses was like a thousand. Just a thousand dollars on the. So you think about five thousand dollars to put this together? Probably. Yeah. So we put the spent about five thousand dollars on this project right here, and it's probably worth about fourteen thousand dollars. This machine. Let's start it up and see what it sounds like. Fire it up. Pretty interesting. Check this out. So we've got a front end loader and We've got another seat with control. So Jorge, George, what is your future plans here? Well, my future plans is to go to a Caterpillar school and train for four years and become a technician. Nice. Caterpillar has an excellent education program. They hire the students first. They send them to Caterpillar College, and they get a two-year degree. They pay you to go to school if you work for Caterpillar. And Jorge's going to be sending in his portfolio today, which is this tractor plus his test scores and all his academic transcripts. He's been very active in the FFA. He has a state degree. He still raises animals. He's literally my right-hand man to put this whole place together, which is we have over, what, 30, 40 different types of tractors? Yes. And he's worked on a lot of them. This is the man you want to hire. FFA's here. Without George, psh, none of this stuff works around here. That's Ala. That's Ag Time. And remember, without good mechanics, the country doesn't work. And we will check in with you later. Jorge, congratulations Thank on your you. graduation. And we look forward to seeing you as a leader in the ag mechanics industry. Thank you.